Welcome to this microlearning video where we will be discussing the Perform Maintenance Jobs Fiori app and its new capabilities within SAP S4 HANA Cloud. Once a phase based maintenance work order has been released, scheduled, and dispatched, it becomes ready for execution. To support the day to day administrative activities of maintenance technicians, SAP S4 HANA provides a one stop application, the Perform Maintenance Jobs Fiori app. With this, the technicians can review, execute, and report their findings for the jobs dispatched for execution. For a non-phase enabled order, the app can be used after the order is released. You can use this app to do the following. Identify outstanding jobs that need to be performed. Self-assign jobs that are yet to be assigned. Assess all information required to perform a job. For example, the reference documents, link to the order, operation, equipment, or functional location levels. Record the progress of the work being performed and view confirmation data. Record malfunction information. Issue and return goods more than what the planner has already planned. Issue goods that are not added previously into the order. Save measurement results. As a maintenance technician, when you log in and see the perform maintenance job style, it shows the count of jobs that are still open and to be executed by the maintenance technician and his or her team. Once the application is launched, by standard you see the list of outstanding jobs. The list of available filters allows the maintenance technician to plan the jobs which need to be executed during the shift or even on a longer period. It is possible to personalize the list page to suit the technician's need and save these variants. In this example, I added the priority of the work orders as an additional filter, added the system status and the execution stage to the list, sorted the jobs by priority, and grouped them by work order type. Once the list and filters have been personalized so they suit the technician's need, the variant can be saved and made for example public and or default. In the standard variant, these jobs are sorted based on the latest scheduled finish field in descending order so that the jobs that are nearing their scheduled finish time appear at the top. It's also possible to download the list of operations to an Excel file. The Responsibilities filter provides additional capabilities. The All Jobs filters for all the jobs that are available for execution. The Mine and My Teams option shows all the operations that belong to your team and are already assigned to you or any other team member. The Mine and To be assigned in My Team filter lists all the jobs that have been assigned to you or yet to be assigned to members of your work center. The Mine Only option lists all the jobs that have been assigned to you. The My Teams Only option lists all the jobs that have been assigned to the team members of your work center, excluding the jobs assigned to you. The To be assigned in My Team lists all jobs that belong to your work center, yet to be assigned to you or any other team members. The required steps and guidance on how to assign technicians to a team can be found on our help portal under the apps documentation. In our example, we will focus on a reactive work order where, after identifying oil leakage, the seal and the bearing of a cooling water circulation pump need to be replaced. As the first step, the technician assigns all the operations and suboperations to themselves. Once the maintenance technician assigns the operation or choose an already assigned job and navigate to the individual task, the app provides many options for the maintenance technician to record the details of the activity performed on the technical object. The header section of the page highlights essential information about the job, like the technical object, order number, notification assigned, subphase, system status, earliest scheduled start and latest scheduled finish date, processing context, priority, and so on. There is also a visualization to track the amount of work done for the operation. The page is further divided into various sections. 
As a maintenance technician, you can check the job details, malfunction details, components, measurements and attachments. Let's go through all these sections during the demo. The technician can click on the start button, which changes the subface to work in execution. And with this, the work has started. If it's required, the work can be paused, which is closely followed again by the operations subphase. We can do a partial time confirmation now and say that the work is paused as they have to wait for the goods issue from the warehouse. On the record time pop-up, the planned effort expected for the job is displayed. It is possible to enter the actual hours spent with this job. The remaining hours are updated automatically. One of the new capabilities in this screen is that the activity type can be changed now. By entering a confirmation text, you can document details about the work you performed or leave comments. Another new capability is the availability of long text. It is also possible to record time for other maintenance technicians who work with you on the same job. Another new feature is that the details of previous confirmations and the related jobs are displayed within the app. It's also possible to see the list of jobs which are part of the same order or is getting executed on the same technical object. Once the parts are available, the technician can continue the work. Within the app, it's also possible to maintain the components. The technicians can issue and return planned goods. These parts were added to the order during the planning phase. After posting these materials, it's also possible to return them if they are not needed. The app supports valued, batch managed and also serialized components for the above actions. Sometimes components are needed which were not originally planned. It is also possible to do goods issues of materials which were not added previously to the order. When searching for the required component, the material can be selected from three different sources. You can search all materials of the plant, you can search an existing bill of material of the technical object you are working on, or you can search based on history of parts consumed from previous jobs for that equipment or functional location. The issued unplanned materials and their respective costs will be posted on the related maintenance order. In the attachment section, you see the existing attachments linked to the maintenance order header, maintenance order operation, technical object or notification. You can easily download and open them by clicking on the preferred title. You can also add attachments like pictures of the technical objects or of damaged spare parts in this section. For example, to document the as found or as left condition of the technical object. It's also possible to upload attachments to the notification. In the measurements section, you can click on the add measurements button to record measurement readings. The app supports you with three pre-filtered views when recording the measurements, besides being able to record readings for all measuring points. Once the work is done, the final confirmation can be executed. You select the final confirmation checkbox to indicate that the work is done for this task. Another new feature is that the clear open reservation option is enabled once final confirmation is selected. For future analysis, a reason for variance between planned and actual work can be added. This list can be configured based on business needs. The confirmation long text will be shown. Once you have posted the final confirmation, you can no longer record time for this job. An important aspect of reactive maintenance is to document the details of the underlying malfunction of the technical object. In the app, you can directly see and update the already recorded malfunction information. This can also include breakdown information as well as extended description of the incident. For later damage or malfunction analysis, you can record your observations about the condition of the technical object in a coded form. 
It is possible to report any damages, the related object parts, associated causes and activities performed. As a next step, we will do quick confirmation for the four remaining operations and sub-operations in the pre- and main execution stage. This functionality does the final confirmation with the initially planned hours. Once the final confirmations have been done by the technicians, the order status can be changed to main work completed, for example, by the maintenance supervisor. As a result, the phase and subphase is changed. After that, the post operations can be confirmed by the technicians and the order can be technically completed by the supervisor. You can customize certain actions based on plant and order type using the configuration settings available in the defined control parameters for perform maintenance jobs. The documentation explains well all the available options, but essentially you can control the self-assignment functionality the confirmation of jobs without assignment, and the automatic clearance of reservations while doing the final confirmation.